despite being out of the running, to qualify for the next round of the 12th Phil Oil Flying V preseason cup presented by Chooks to go. Hila's Pilipinas still made the most of their remaining time by winning against the UE Red Warriors, 63-61, at the Phil Oil Flying V Center in San Juan. Juan Gomez de Liano made the biggest play of the game, scoring in transition to break a 61-all deadlock with 103 left in the game to cap the closing 15-3 run. The Red Warriors had several attempts to tie or take the lead, but they were unable to capitalize on their opportunities. Philip Manalang missed an open desperation triple attempt at the buzzer, sending the Red Warriors to the disappointing loss. Despite being out of the running to qualify for the next round of the 12th Phil Oil Flying V preseason cup presented by Chooks to go, Hila's Pilipinas still made the most of their remaining time by winning against the UE Red Warriors, 63-61, at the Phil Oil Flying V Center in San Juan. Juan Gomez de Liano made the biggest play of the game, scoring in transition to break a 61-all deadlock with 103 left in the game. The Red Warriors had several attempts to tie or take the lead, but they were unable to capitalize on their opportunities. Philip Manalang missed an open desperation triple attempt at the buzzer, sending the Red Warriors to the disappointing loss. New up fighting Maroon Richie Rivero was chosen best player of the game after finishing with eight points, nine rebounds, two blocks and three steals. Rivero helped initiate that fourth quarter run that brought Healers back into the game after being down by double digits, 58-48. According to Rivero, the team talked about playing with more force and that translated into their stirring comeback. We talked and agreed that what's been happening in the previous games is not because of the system, Rivero said. It's because of us all our lapses since we started in the Phil Oil tournament. It's because of ourselves. We didn't give everything we had and we didn't focus on defense. Hill has also got a big lift in the form of Atenio de Manila Blue Eaglet Caisado who made his debut with the Healers Cadets in the preseason tournament. Sato provided a much-needed inside presence for Healers as he teamed with Abu Tratter to hold down the fort for Healers in the paint. Sato would eventually finish with five points, including a rim-rocking jam in the third quarter that signified his arrival to the team. He was a huge help because we had a big man inside, Rivero said. Hill has held the Red Warriors to 31% shooting from the field and just four points in the fourth period and also had seven blocks in the contest. Red Warrior Alvin Paseo paced his squad with 22 points, including one of the biggest highlights of the game in the second quarter. After two attempts at an inside drive were swatted away by Sato and Rivero, Paseo stepped outside the arc and nailed a triple, to the delight of his teammates and the fans in attendance. Tratter led heel as in scoring with 13 points, followed by Kobe Paras with 11 on three made triples. Despite Heela's early elimination, the team is still determined to make the most of their remaining games and finish strong. Rivero credited this win to the team's pride and willingness to compete for the future. I play for what's written in front of my jersey, which is this country, Rivero said. When you're playing for Healers, you need to give everything you've got. You can't give up, even if you make mistake a lot of mistakes. Healers picked up their second victory of the tournament, climbing to 2-5. The Red Warriors drop to 1-2 as they lose their second straight game.
the scores. Hill is Cadet 63, Tratter 13, Paris 11, Tolentino V8, Rivero 8, Tomeo 8, Gomez de Leon 05, Sato 5, Alejandro 3, Tolentino A. 2. Gazam 0.UE61 Pass AL22, Starrett 8, Manalang 7, Bartolom 6, Varilla 5, Gagate 4, Antiporta 3, Color 3, Connor 2, Hakuno 1, Gallardo 0, Sabravega 0, Lackup 0, Malol 0, Beltran 0.